Hi, welcome to the second episode of Pain Talk. Uh, today we're going to actually be talking about inspiration or finding the motivation to actually sit down and paint. Also, I just want to let you know that I am going to be answering questions on Paint Talk, so please, any uh, questions you have, leave them in the comment section. I will answer them in the next Paint Talk. Also, if you like this video, if you like Paint Talk, you like Paint Coach, you like my videos, please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. Uh, you can also follow uh, what I'm painting on a daily basis on Instagram at Forza43. Inspiration or motivation, or sitting down and actually painting. Uh, before I begin, I just want to recommend a book that's going to cover pretty much almost everything that I'm going to talk about, and I don't want to have to keep referring back to it. So anything, a lot of stuff that I say will probably be found in this book, uh, which is called uh, The War of Art by Stephen Pressfield. I'll put a link in the description where you can get it on Amazon. I believe it's an audio format too, so you can listen to it while you're painting, uh, which is what I did. But it's just a great book about uh, art in general. Uh, he's a writer, so he uses writing as an example, but it really applies to any type of art and it's main the main focus of the book is the, you know what this video is about which is how to treat your craft or your art and how to show up every day and do that craft and constantly get better whether you want to or not it's just a great book so the first thing i'm talking about is inspiration forget it don't that shouldn't even be a factor in whether you paint or not if you are inspired, great, that's awesome. But if you just sit around and wait for inspiration, you're gonna be waiting forever. Inspiration shows up to the people who actually show up. So if you show up to paint every day, you're gonna get inspiration, you're going to progress. And it's the people that sit around and wait for inspiration that never really progress because they're constantly waiting for it. So if inspiration is not gonna be the thing that makes you sit down and paint, what is? And it should just be habit. You should just, it should become a habit. And the way that you make things become a habit is you do that over and over and over. And how do you do something over and over and over? You make it easy to do that thing. You make it accessible. You, you get all the, as much resistance out of the way as possible. Uh, this could be making sure every time you're done painting, you set up your area, your studio, your materials, so that when you come in the next day, you can just jump in and paint. You don't have to clean your stuff, you don't have to set it up, you know, anything like that. Like, it's just getting rid of resistance. And I understand that a lot of people, you know, are in an apartment, you don't have space, or you got roommates, or this or that, and you don't have like a set space. Um, I recommend getting a French easel. It's you know, relatively expensive. It's a, you know, it can be like a hundred bucks, but it's so worth it because you can set it up anywhere. You can take that French easel, you can set it up outside, you can set it on the porch, you can set it next to a window if you need light. You know, like doing something like that is putting yourself in the position to be able to paint as much as possible. You know, if that means that you have to get a paper palette that you, you know, pad of palette paper that you, you can just crumple up and throw away because the thought of having to clean a palette every day you know you're not going to do that and it's and when you don't do that you're not gonna have a clean palette therefore you're not going to paint so maybe getting the paper uh pad of palette paper is good for you because that's going to help you i know i got this stuff um there's another youtube uh channel out there called draw mix paint it's much bigger than mine it's really good the guy's really good uh you should check it out but he offers this um i think i have it this uh brush dip and this stuff is great uh, because what you do is when you're done painting, you just dip your brushes in it and you set your brushes down and it keeps the paint from drying the brushes. So I don't have to like wash my brushes after every, you know, painting session. And that makes it so much easier for me to, you know, just walk away from the paint, you know, walk away and then come back the next day. The brushes are fine. I don't have to worry about cleaning them, setting them up, drying, you know, all that stuff. So that was something that really helped me. So don't rely on inspiration, rely on your the habit of doing it and the way you create a habit is making it easy or having the least amount of resistance for you to sit down and actually paint all right another thing is don't make such a big deal out of painting uh a lot of people feel that they sit down they got to paint it's got it's got to come out right every time and you got to make this masterpiece and that is the exact opposite you know so many times Especially when I first started out, I didn't even paint on stretch canvas. I had a big pad of uh, canvas paper that you know was cheapo stuff, but it allowed me to practice a lot. And I would do multiple studies on one uh, 
you know piece of the canvas paper and it wasn't it didn't you know i so i didn't like take a lot of time looking for like the right subject matter this i just you know was painting everything just painting as much as i possibly could and when i was done just you know let it dry then you know put it in a drawer or something like, i don't i didn't really care it was just it was about the process and about actually sitting down and painting and if i messed up i messed up it wasn't a big deal it's not like i spent 40 dollars on a canvas and then messed up on the painting understand so it's just understanding that a lot of painting is, is practice and you know it's like you know going to the gym or going to you know sports practice every day you know it's it's not a game it doesn't count you know you're gonna make mistakes you should make some mistakes you should take chances and you should learn from those mistakes a lot of people still have struggle with actually finishing something or getting something done even though they want to do it and you know they can sit down and easily paint so also try setting deadlines for yourself uh, and tr really try and stick to them and do what you need to do to force yourself to stick to them that this could even mean like posting to social media you know your progress on it and you know people asking when are you going to finish that and you can say oh I'm going to finish it this or uh, you know if you have commissions set a date you know set a hard date say I will have this done and to you by this time that's what I do a lot because you will finish it and you will sit down and work on it uh, in terms of practicing you know set a time to sit down and paint every day you know just like you would anything else you, you have a time that you go and work out you have a time that you go to work you have a time that you brush your teeth you have a time that you you know make dinner you know do that it could even be an hour if you only paint an hour you know it, an hour a day everybody has an, an hour if you can just paint for an hour a day five days a week that's five hours of painting you know times up before that's 20 hours that you know that's 20 hours a month that you wouldn't get if you you know didn't do that also you know find you know paint stuff that you want to paint uh because that's going to make you want to sit down and paint it even more yeah there's going to be times that you're going to be working on something and you it's it's going to be a chore to do it it's going to be a chore to finish it there's going to be certain parts of the painting that are going to be tough and you got to just get through that but still you know paint stuff that you want to paint there's you know you're going to do exercises you're going to you know paint the sphere and the still life or whatever but you know choosing things that you want to paint really will help you want to sit down and and do the painting another thing that i found that's helpful is listening to something uh while i'm painting um, music is good but i actually listen to a lot of podcasts i like listening to other people's conversations one it's it's you know can be very educational and insightful and two it i don't know it, it, it like takes the edge off and when you're just sitting in silence painting you can almost overthink things you know because everything is directed i feel like it helps when partially part of your brain is kind of directed elsewhere so a lot of your painting is you're, you're being instinctual with it you're not you know solely focused on just the painting where you definitely overthink things uh, so you know listen to some podcasts listen to conversation I, I like listening to to books on tape uh, music is good but then again music still can vary I feel like with me music gets pushed way too on the background and I don't even hear it and then I guess get back into my own thoughts and overthinking things so you know I suggest podcasts so there's a lot of you know valuable tips that I definitely use on a daily basis and I understand that a lot of you you know you you have jobs to take up a long time you have lives you have families you don't have a great space to paint in and that's very understandable and you know don't feel that you need to sit down and paint for five hours every day if you can't you know if you only can paint one hour a day five days a week that's great if you do that you will definitely progress at a rate that you like and get better and better and better and you i think you'll find that when you do get better and better you'll spend more time painting all of a sudden you'll find more time to paint because it's always more fun when you get better it's about showing up being consistent getting the reps in and progressing all right i hope you enjoyed this episode of paint talk again i'll be here every single wednesday giving my opinions on everything painting uh, i'll also be releasing uh, tutorial videos time lapse videos all those other videos on the paint coach channel uh, if you want to follow me on instagram see what i'm painting on a daily basis you can at fours of 43. i'm chris fornatero here telling you to go get painting <laughs>